Finally, finally, finally. Oh, I'm Mara. It's here. Hey, what's up, sis? What's up? Good, good, good. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Wow. Yeah, finally, my brother is here. I'm so happy to see him. You know. Yeah. I have to introduce myself to the gatekeeper uh -huh. because I arrived here last night mm -hmm. and nobody knows about. Mambodi Watuangu, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone and of course the time that you watch this video. As always, it is my prayer that the video is going to find you good of health. How are you? How am I? I'm good as you can see. So guys, let me take a moment and welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome to the newest subscribers in the house. Oh my God, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. You are really, really appreciated. Welcome and become part of this beautiful and amazing family. To my returning subscribers, you are the real OG. Like seriously, what would I do without you? Like, what would this channel be without you? You know the tingle. Your likes and comments are not taken for granted. To the fence eaters, keep on sitting at the fence. To my super slappers, thank you so much for slapping me. To those that have joined my membership, thank you so much. You are the real family that I have out here. So my people, so many things have been happening in the white streets this week. A lot and a lot. And you know, as I always say, sometimes you may never know where to begin with. I just want to do a quick recap for the week. And also I'm going to mention some of the things that you do not know. So guys, let's begin. Are you ready? Grab whatever you want to grab. So guys, there's this habit that is coming up from the naysayers. Do you know what they are doing? They are going back to the archives. Back to the archives. When you see people going back to the archives, hey, let me just tell you for free as a content creator. These are people that are running out of content. And therefore, they need to go back to the archive and create more drama in the streets of YT. There's this photo of Dimwango and Ayamara that is trending. Do you get the tingle? That is actually trending. And this one was um, taken from the archives by the naysayers. And guys, I want to just play a bit of that video so that you can see for yourself and be the judge. So that you know these people, when they mean business, like when they mean it is you and them, then they're going to do everything to ensure that they bring you down. So very quickly, let's go and check out this video. So guys, this is the video that the naysayers have gone to bring from the archives. So when you look at the title of this video that was done by D. Mwango, actually you cannot see well because it is uh, at night and the light is too much. Yeah, it's there. But again, you can't read it well. So let me read for you. The title of this video was Babe is finally in Kenya. And then that was the photo. That was the photo. Do you see it? The photo of Marwa uh, leading towards Dimwango's cheek. I don't know whether uh, you can see it properly, but I'm going to attach here. And guys, this is something that the naysayers have gone to the archives to pick. And they are using it now to trash D. Mwango's name and her brother. And when you look at most of them, they are doing a lot of titles. D. Mwango kissing Marwa. You know, Marwa kissing D. Mwango. They, uh, these guys are just crazy. <laughs> like, it can't happen. It can't happen. Like, in our African community, this is not something that is acceptable. It's not. There is no way my brother can kiss me. How? Like, how? That is uh, crazy. Like, it can't happen. That is incest. Do you get it? Why would they want to come out and bring this kind of information to the public? When you look closely to the photo, because I'm going to attach here. So the face of Marwa wouldn't be recognized. And that was just meant to clickbait and let people watch the video. But why would people come out and start throwing it all over their thumbnail and talking about it. And they say Dimwango is so jealousy of all the women that Mara has gotten into a relationship with because Mara had promised 
that he will be with us uh, till eternity. Eh, my God, oh my God, oh, ain't we crazy out here? Like, what is wrong with people? Like, sometimes you cannot understand people. <laughs> hey, what kind of joke is this? Actually, this is a sick joke. Like a sick one. Hey, you are running out of content. And now you need to go down and bring such and try as much as you can and justify to your audience that this is a uh, Marwa kissing the sister. And then my people, let me tell you something. This video was taken for years ago four years ago when dimango was still growing her channel and we all know what it means to grow a channel and this was basically meant for clickbait <laughs> oh my god guys people are just crazy so let's listen to a bit of this video switch for you i'm just outside So guys, that is it. Let me tell you something. Creating content is not easy. And what D Mango did four years ago was just for the matter of capturing people so that they can watch her videos, which is so common when it comes to content creation. But that does not mean that now people should go back and start trashing her name. This is something that cannot happen. Ah, uh -uh. it cannot happen, including in your wildest dreams. This one cannot happen. And especially to us Africans. I don't know about my friends uh, that are in other continents. Tell us something. Can you kiss your brother? And you know when, some, when we talk about kissing, I mean mouth to mouth. Forget about pecking because pecking is uh, common when it comes to the Westerners. It's so common. But for us Africans, hey, we create distance like we create a huge distance between us and our brothers and fathers like it is not something that is so so common ah it's not so that what the naysayers are trying to do is to play around with the psychology of people so that is it on the other hand hey guys do you know the black forest princess the lady from germany the law lady she's a she stays in germany but she's a kenyan she came to kenya I think she's back in Germany, uh, in German, if I'm not wrong. I think she's back. I'm not so sure about that, but I feel she's back. So when she came to Kenya a few weeks ago, she met Dimwango in Mombasa. Actually in Diani. Diani is in the coastal part of Kenya. And they did awesome videos together. Let me show you the video before I tell you what is happening in the streets. You will be shocked. So guys, let's get this video. Take your time and watch this. country of love. I'm telling you, the see, pride of Africa. The pride of Africa. <laughs> see how we are glowing. I'm Look at you. So guys, we just, you know, just want to have dinner, but yeah. you know what? I'm just so, so full. So full. I had eaten previously and uh, I just said, you know what? Let's just share with you our experiences when yeah. we're back home in Kenya. Okay? Yeah. So please give the video a like, subscribe, subscribe. and kiss the new year. Black Forest Princess, D. Mwango, you guys have seen us before back in, uh, in Germany. I love so, you. I love you too. <laughs> and it feels so good to be back again. Yeah. Uh, I'm so glad that you 
you took this time. Yeah, to come. The program was time. Yeah. Oh my god. But sometimes when you have friends, you know, like yeah. friendship sacrifice. You know what yeah. I mean? Even my, you know, my family couldn't even believe I'm leaving so early. They're like, eh, you're quick again. I'm like, yeah, I have friends in the in Mombasa. I have to go see them first before I come back again. Okay? Like, serious. This so was. Guys, <laughs> it's at night, so don't worry about our lighting. Yeah. So let's share with you what we're having for dinner. Oh, okay? uh, you're looking good. <laughs> Because maybe no, she didn't clean the camera because now the footage looks nice, right? My so name is yeah. So guys, welcome. I have my girl <laughs> with me. She came all the way yeah? from the countryside. From the countryside. And guys, let me tell you. Let me promise you guys. I've, I've seen a lot of you wanting us, me and my family, to visit your soon. Next soon. time. No, next year. Like this yeah. is. All so guys, let me tell you something. Just look at the friendship uh, bond between the Black Forest Princess and Dimwango. These are people that have established a friendship like for a long time. But then let me tell you something. When Dimwango started her YouTube channel, that is four years ago. Do you get it? Those who have, uh, have been following her, they know. When Dimwango started her YouTube channel, this lady was among the first fans of Dimwango. Actually, she was among the first moderators. And eventually they created, you know, a relationship. And when Dimwango was able to get her, when she got um, her, visa, her visa, yeah, the visa to tour Europe. I don't know if it's called Schengen, Schengen visa or whatever. When she got it and she was going around Europe, this lady, black forest princess hosted her in her home and d did a lot of amazing videos while she was in this german village you can go check out she did a lot of amazing content back then and you know this is a relationship that um started four years ago and every time dimango is traveling to europe she must go and visit black forest princess and her family so these are just friends hey chinekema me sitting here minding my own business. Cap. Dimwango is a lele. And the partner is Black Forest Princess. Oh my god. Do you know who Alele is to my international viewers? Alele is a person of the rainbow colors. If you get it, you get it. If you don't understand, you don't understand. You understand the issue to do with rainbow? Yes, you do. So stories have started coming up. That why was this lady holding Dimwango that closely? Like seriously. Like she was, uh, Dimwango was so close to her. That uh, this lady was like kind of massaging her. Bringing her closer to her. Really? Hey, guys, oh, me, I don't want to talk what I don't know. But my friends, let me tell you. When it comes to the naysayers, be ready for anything. Be ready for anything. Because seriously, a person who is straight is a person who is straight. And if you are not straight, when I say that, I know you will now understand what I mean by lele. If you are not straight, this is something that you cannot hide for a long time. And by the way, it has reminded me, when, uh, when Dimango was, which country was it when she was in a cruise? Was it Spain? I don't know. I don't remember. But there's one country in Europe when she was going on cruise. And then there's this lady who came out and said she likes women. And you remember the lady who uh, kissed D. In fact, that is not kissing, pecking. Pecked D here. And the naysayers were like, oh, 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 oh. Dimwango <clears throat> is a lele. Oh, Dimwango is not straight and all that. I thought that was a joke. They have now come back and started talking about Dimwango and black forest princess and black forest princess is a married lady she has a family and don't come here and tell me there are people that hide in the closet ah don't come and tell me that i know i know there are those people that hide but you cannot just come and say anything that you don't have proof and mostly let me talk about women women we are so much affectionate and especially towards our friends it is so easy to find women holding hands, yet they are very straight. I don't know whether you agree with me on this. 
It is so easy to find women hugging each other affectionately. Just playing around with each other because they are besties. In Kenya we say besties because they are best friends. And they are straight. It is just a matter of, um, you know, just being affectionate and all that. But when it comes to men, it is so hard to find a man holding another man's hand unless there is a ish-ish. Otherwise, it is so hard. So my people, today I don't want to do a long video. I just want to come and um, bring you up to speed with what is happening. Of course, Carrot is out there talking about circumcising Zach Senior. Really, Carrot. Don't you even have some sense of um, respect to, the, to this law community? Like, are you okay? Are you okay? And this lady will make us start questioning her. How did she know that he's not circumcised? And how can she come and talk about that? You know, it is so disrespectful. Like for us Kenyans, let me talk about Kenyans because circumcision is compulsory in the Kenyan community. Though we have one or two communities that like it's not practiced at a hundred percent but still when it comes to such private matters we don't play around with them that is our culture that is our tradition you don't just come out openly and talk about a man's manhood it cannot be okay with you it cannot be okay it can't and it will never be okay that is a taboo in fact where do you get the energy to come and sit in front of your camera and talk about that like seriously, that is a big joke. You play too much. And when you play too much, the consequences equally becomes too much. So that is food for thought for this crazy lady carrot. My people, if you have watched this video up to this far, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you do like what I do. You can join my membership and become part of my amazing family. Just check on the packs and pick whatever is pocket friendly. Thank you so much and goodbye for now.